Hello, hello everybody, this is Tiptop MTG here today with another Magic the Gathering video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about all of the spoilers that have come out for Double Masters today, that being July 29th. Now today's a much smaller day compared to some of the past ones, but just note that today is the second to last day and we have seen very few of the commons and a couple of the uncommons. So that means tomorrow will be a ton of commons and uncommons, so be prepared for that. But today we have some interesting cards, so why don't we j jump right into this. Starting off, we have Leonin Ababunis. It's a 4 cost white creature cat cleric and it says artifacts you control have hexproof and it's a 2-5. Generally a pretty good pick for limited in a set all around artifacts, except maybe, you know, you don't want to have that little, that, the interaction that sometimes makes limited removed, but, um, I, we've yet to see all the comments and how much artifact destruction there really is. I expect there to be a lot, though. It was last reprinted in Arch Enemy, and it's going for about $2. Again, like I've been saying throughout all of spoiler season, I believe that $2 should be the bare minimum for a rare. You know, this should be considered a bulk rare, not 35 cents, um, but unfortunately, a $2 card is better than a lot of them, um, and that's kind of sad for a $15 booster. Next, we have Disciple of Bolus. It's a 4-cost black creature, human wizard, 2-1, and when it enters the battlefield, sacrifice another creature. You gain X life and draw X cards, where X is that creature's power, so... Um, yeah, you're going to draw a bunch of cards, gain some life, cool card, but, and it fits within the sacrifice theme that I believe is Golgari in this set, uh, and it's about 35 cents, and it was last reprinted in Commander 2020. If you want to learn more about the themes, watch for a video I'm going to be doing soon, uh, where I talk about the, what they call, like, po the sign uncommons, which are essentially uncommon multicolored cards that kind of hint at what you're supposed to do in each color combination, so we're going to look at those uh, in an upcoming video video so keep an eye out for that next we have toxic deluge now this is a leak uh this has not been confirmed this could be off now this is the box topper version which i really don't know how the box topper version leaked but it's a three cost black sorcery and is an additional cost to cast the spell pay x life all creatures get minus x minus x pretty awesome board wipe the obviously non-showcase version before this was announced is going for about $38. It's a leak, so Card Kingdom doesn't update their prices. Oh, that's another thing I meant to mention. In the bottom left, that price is in USD, and it's um, as of today, that being the 29th, and it is also from Card Kingdom. You can probably find these for cheaper, but generally these are those are the prices that I'm going with. So about $38, expect that to drop to around 20 maybe 25 but that's also an awesome inclusion as a rare, and it's looking like it'll be a box topper, uh, just keep that in mind, and it was last reprinted in Eternal Masters. Next we have Ancient Stirrings, it's a one cost green sorcery, and it says look at the top five cards of your library, you may reveal a colorless card from among them and put it into your hand, then put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Now obviously this makes a lot of sense in an artifact masters kind of set, and honestly it's not that cheap, like a 50 cent uh, common is not awful, but again obviously you're not looking at the commons for value, they're generally there for the draft experience. Next we have... Thopter Foundry, which is a pretty popular card. Um, it's going for about 35 cents, but it's uh, white and a black, white or a black, and then a blue for an artifact. And it says, pay one, sacrifice a non-token artifact, create a one-one blue Thopter artifact creature token with flying. You gain one life. So you sack a non-token, make a token one-one. Pretty awesome card. But what it does is it goes infinite with this next card. Beat that being not this card. Sorry, it's later on. I forgot I do these. Not in the order they were spoiled, they were ordered uh, Wooberg and then Multicolored Colorless Lands. Either way, we have Maelstrom Nexus. It's white, blue, black, red, green for an enchantment that says the first spell you cast each turn has Cascade. And this was a Mystery Booster foil, and it's going for about $4. It is a Mythic, so a $4 Mythic. So I think at this point we have three just dud Mythics. A couple Mythics that I would say are below average, a couple Mythics that are average, and just a few above average uh, Mythics. So, yeah, this is uh, kind of disappointing. Next we have Karthus, Tyrant of Jund. It's a 7 cost black, red, green, legendary creature dragon, 7-7 seven, seven with flying and haste, and when it enters the battlefield, gain control of all dragons, then untap all dragons. Other dragon creatures you control have haste. Uh, so this is another mythic going for about 8 bucks. Honestly, I feel like an average rare should be going for 8 bucks. so seeing a mythic at this point is a little ridiculous. Obviously, I think 
you know, this is the kind of card that it'll be nice to see it drop in price for people who want it. Uh, eight bucks is a little high for an individual card, but it's also not like it desperately needs a reprint. I just kind of wish they that this was a rare. If this was a rare, this would be an amazing inclusion. Uh, you know, the collectors, it's worth a little bit more than half the pack. For people who are buying singles, it'll reduce the price of a card that's not extremely expensive, but also not cheap. If you're trying to build a $50 deck, this card can't go in it. That would be more than, that would be almost a fifth of your budget. So uh, keep that in mind. Next we have... Nesmeric Orb, it's a two cost artifact, and whenever a permanent becomes untapped, that permanent's controller mills a card, so it's a $15 rare. This is exactly where I'd love to see all rares, obviously. Um, I value, I, I would say an average rare is about $7.50 in value, because you get two rares per pack. So this, if you pull this, you pay for your pack, and the rest is all just profit, which is pretty awesome. Last, It was last reprinted in Salvet 2005, uh, and so it's been a while pretty awesome reprint that you know it makes it cheaper for people who want to buy it and it also is good for collectors perfect rare next we have sword of the meek so this goes infinite with Foptor foundry it's a two cost artifact equipment and it says equip creature gets plus one plus two and equip two but it also says whenever a one one enters the battlefield under your control you may return sword of the meek from your graveyard to the battlefield and then attach it to that creature so the idea is you sack it for one um mana and like or you sack the sword for one mana to create a one one since the sword's in the graveyard when the one one hits the battlefield it comes back and so while it's not an infinite combo because you need mana uh if you get something like an astronaut's altar out that sacks your thopter for two mana now you do have infinite thopters but generally what this is is just pay one mana make a one one flyer pretty good combo that is in here and one of them is a rare one of them is an uncommon and you can pick two cards in your first pick in draft so if you see those in a pack you just pick them and boom you got this yourself a nice little combo so that's pretty awesome unfortunately it's only a six dollar rare although six dollars is looking better compared to like 35 cent auger of bolus uh, but overall i wish it was a little higher but that at this point is fine Next we have Sword of Light and Shadow. It's a three cost artifact equipment and equipped creature gets plus two plus two and has protection from white and black. And whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, you gain three life and you may return up to one target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. So um, this is a $30 card from Salvat 2005 pretty, uh, you know, it's part of the sword cycle. I'm at this point, all of them are confirmed. And so yeah, it's nice to see it. But it also has a, you know, showcase version going for about 90 bucks. I like the art on it pretty awesome. Next, we have Sword of Body and Mind. This is a three cost artifact equipment and equipped creature gets plus two plus two and has protection from green and blue. And whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, you create a two two green wolf creature token and that player mills 10 cards and then you equip two. And it's going for about 15 bucks, so it's a lot less than the others. Again, I feel like a bare minimum mythic should pay for the pack, so at this point it's doing that. Uh, and it does obviously have a showcase frame as well, going for about 80 bucks. And then we have our a land. So we have High Market. It's a land. You tap it for colorless. Tap, sacrifice a creature, gain a life. Uh, it's going for uh, for about seven dollars. Uh, again, I would prefer it a little higher, but I, if this is what they're going to call an average rare, I guess that's fine. Um, but yeah, seven bucks isn't the worst we've seen. Next, we have all of the showcase cards. So now all of the showcase cards have been revealed. So these are them in number order. So Karn, Liberated, Jace, Avacyn, all those. Um, for some reason yesterday, I was missing Phyrexian Metamorph in here. So we have this whole first page filled. We now have this page filled if Toxic Deluge is true. And by the way, the naming of it and the, you know, the numbering of it all matches. We have... Then also, you know, this page has been full for a little bit, but then we also have finished the sword cycle with body and mind and light and shadow. Honestly, tomorrow, I don't expect any really awesome cards. Um, I'm mostly expecting just a ton of commons and uncommons. So keep an eye out for that. It'll be interesting to see. Those will go through a little bit faster because if they're revealing, you know, 60, un or 60 commons, I can't really explain what each of them does and why they're awesome and limited. Uh, it'll be a little faster, but... Overall, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.